California Free Thought, Free Thought Day Planning Committee, um, he'd like to introduce a few special organizations that we think we all need to know about. So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce David Diskin. One more time, how about a round of applause for our wonderful MC, Victoria De La Torre. Thank you so much. And as she said, there are so many great organizations that are here today, not just locally in Sacramento, but you know everywhere. And I hope you've had a chance to visit some of their tables. I want to bring them onto the stage just to give you a quick one minute commercial about what they're doing, just in case you haven't had a chance to come on, uh, visit, can go and visit them. And so first, let me welcome Judy Bannister of the Atheist Community of San Jose. Judy, come on up. It's a little crowded up here. Okay, no problem. <laughs> there you go. You might ask yourself, why is the atheist community of San Jose here in Sacramento today and every year? The reason is that we believe that we secular organizations should be cooperating, coordinating, helping each other, sharing speakers, and just supporting one another throughout the state and indeed throughout the nation. So atheist community of San Jose is not just a little local tiny group in San Jose. No, we are part of the national atheist organizations and the regional secular organizations of all kinds. We work together with our local secular organizations. There's another atheist group called Atheist Abbey in um, Palo Alto. And for example, next weekend, we're having a joint picnic with Atheist Abbey and Atheist Community of San Jose. We work together with the humanist community in Silicon Valley all the time. We are the strongest atheist group in the Southern uh, Peninsula area, the San Francisco Bay Area Peninsula. And we meet once a month uh, for in Wednesday evening for a speaker or a discussion about some interesting, exciting topic. Um, for example, last month we had a meeting on the science behind race and ethnicity, which was really exciting. And this next week we're having a talk on um, how um, evolution is happening right beside us every day, all the time, the ways in which evolution is happening now. So we're very scientific, very reason-oriented in the atheist community of San Jose. Uh, if you want to find out what we're doing uh, in the ACSJ, you get on Meetup and you sign up for the atheist community of San Jose. We welcome you to come to any of our events. And we strongly support the um, in this free thought event every year, we think it's very important, and we want you to continue this uh, activity. So, Thank you so much. So we're here to support all in California, all the secular groups in California. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I'd like to introduce a uh, wonderful group local here in Sacramento, uh, representing the Compassionate Humanists. Please welcome Christy Walters. Christy, come on up. God, yes, come closer. <laughs> Thank you, David. Hi, everybody. I'm Christy Walters, and I have a group called Compassionate Humanists. Uh, and I'm focused mostly in Placer County, uh, in specifically in the Roseville area. We hold discussion groups once a month. Um, I hold weekly pro-choice rallies in front of Planned Parenthood and um, just trying to get into trouble in other ways as well. So um, check me out at CompassionateHumanist.com or you can go on to Meetup and I have my own group called Compassionate Humanists. Would love to see you at one of my events um, and give me a holler, give me a call. I'm also uh, endorsed by the Humanist Society to be both a celebrant and a chaplain. So um, look me up and give me a holler. I'm over there in that table. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being here. All right, next up, representing one of my favorite, I shouldn't say this, but one of my favorite national organizations, 
is the Freedom From Religion Foundation. And for the last several years, they've had a local chapter here in Sacramento, basically defending the separation of church and state. And here to represent them is Barry Babo. Barry, come on up. Good afternoon, my name is Barry Babo, and I'm one of the founding members and on the chair of the Sacramento Freedom From Religion Foundation. As David said, we do defend the separation of church and state, and we are local here. How many people out here are members of Freedom From Religion Foundation? Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you so much for being members. If you're not a member also of the chapter, please drop, um, FFRF a note and just say you want to be a member of the chapter. It costs nothing additional, but it gives us a couple dollars every year to do things like have a booth and support um, Free Thought Today, which is a wonderful community event for all of us here. Um, other great things that we do, November 14th, Dan Barker, the co-president of FFRF National, will be in Sacramento and will be having an event at the Reason Center. If you're on Meetup, that event is posted on the SAC Fan Meetup. So thank you so much for all your support. David, thank you for everything you do. Pleasure. Thank you. And here to represent the Humanist Association of Greater Sacramento Area, please welcome Tom Eichelman, who's not only a member of that group, but also part of our Free Thought Day Committee. Thank you, Tom, for everything that you've done today. Thank you, David. Uh, I, like you said, I've been active in a number of groups after I went to my first Free Thought Day back in 2003. Um, and I found that the Humanist Association most represented my thought and, and the people that I wanted to be with. And uh, HAGSA, as we easily call it instead of that mouthful, um, has, is one of the oldest uh, free thinking groups in the Sacramento area. We've been here for, I think it's 25 plus years. Uh, we've been one of the sponsors of a lot of these events, Free Thought Day, Darwin Day, um, many other things that go on in the community, uh, we're there supporting. And we are the local chapter basically representative for the American Human Association, which has been represented by several people here today. So um, if you want to get involved on a local basis, um, we're a good group to, to get in with. Uh, currently we have meetings once a month on the third Sunday at 3 o'clock. Uh, during the winter, we do uh, various speakers, um, presentations are um, Sean up here who does his uh, act uh, presented to us first and then he moved into this group and some others. So um, we kind of try to lead the, the way into different events here. Um, so, and, and we want to get more socially involved with everybody. So if you feel like, you know, you want to be with people that think the way that you think and want to do the things you want to do, come on out and support, you know, and, and we always need more help with things. Um, so get active and, and come to our meetings and help us do more. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thanks for everything that you've done today. Uh, next up, uh, one other wonderful local organization, uh, the League of Women Voters. How many people here are registered to vote? Good. How many of you are excited to vote next year? Good. If you haven't yet registered to vote, there is a table right over there. Wave your hand. There it is. And go register to vote and encourage other people to do so. Here to represent the League of Women Voters, please welcome Paula Lee. Paula. Thank you, David. We're happy to be here for the second year in a row, especially since we heard earlier that Atheists, I think you said, do not vote as much as Christians. They need to. They need <laughs> so to. we do hope that this encourages you to not only register to vote, but also to actually vote. The League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan and a nonprofit organization, but we're a very political organization at the same time. So what that means is we do not support or oppose candidates or political parties for office, but we do take positions on issues. And so you will see us uh, 
uh, at election time with positions on all the ballot measures. While we do not support candidates, look for our positions on ballot measures because we have done studies to get to those positions. Um, also want to invite you, if you're, if you're um, in Sacramento, to join the Sacramento League. The leagues are all over the country, so matter, no matter where you are, you can be a member. And the League of Women Voters holds on to the name Women Voters because of our history. We're almost 100 years old. Uh, we were born out of the suffragist movement, which gave women the right to vote, but want to be very clear that we are a civic organization and we welcome men and women to join. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have just two more community organizations to introduce. And this next one is brand new, like literally brand new, started over uh, internationally and now they're here in the United States with a local chapter. Uh, I think we can all agree that climate change is one of the most important issues of our, that need our immediate attention. And so I was thrilled to see that Extinction Rebellion has decided to have a table here. Hopefully you've had a chance to visit them. And to tell us a little bit more about what they do, please welcome Rick Range from Extinction Rebellion. Rick, Rick, come on up. Yeah, th this is being brought over from Europe in April. The, the whole city of London was shut down. A thousand people were arrested in nonviolent disobedience. This is the only real avenue we have left because we have 12 years with the UN report to stop climate change. And it's a window that moves. And we have done absolutely really nothing to stop it. Each year, CO2 is rising. And, and that's the immediate thing that we need to do, or we will be faced with a, with a future that 35% of the global land area and 55% of the global population will be subject to heat conditions beyond the threshold of human survivability. Droughts, floods, wildfires will regu regularly ravage the land. Nearly one-third of the world's land surface will turn to desert. Entire ecosystems collapse, beginning with the oceans, the planet's coral reefs, the rainforests, and Arctic ice sheets. The world's tropics are hardest hit by these new climate extremes, destroying the region's agriculture and turning more than one billion people into refugees. And we're, we're on our way to do this. If the, this is based on solid science, and if the, if the, if by, by the end of these 12 years, if we don't set something in place to stop climate change from being five degrees more in 2050, the planet will basically be unlivable. And that's why we need to get out in the streets and please go over and, and sign yourself up to get on the, the mailing list if we want, we want to start actions now in the street because that's the only thing that's left to save our planet for our children and their children. Thank you so much for doing that. And the last group I'm pleased to introduce is the Reason Center, not just a sponsor, but uh, the place where the Free Thought Day Committee has its monthly meetings, and so does Sunday Assembly and the Humanist Center and AOF and all the other great groups here. And here to tell us a little bit more about Reason Center, please welcome Noel Navarro. Hello, everybody. It's good to see you guys. It's good to see all the people who keep coming back and making this what it is. David, thank you so much for doing this for us. So our booth is back here, it's the Reason Center. We are a physical location just off of Arden, and really we're here to promote the community, the acceptance of free thinkers. So we hold regular events, and we have a special event coming up. November 9th, if you like books, if you like cheese, and you like wine, we're gonna have all three in the same place, and people to enjoy it with. So please come out to that. Also, we do other events such as coffee and community. We do movie nights. We do a lot of stuff where we just want to see everybody get together regularly, see each other's faces. Also, we tend to rent out the place. If you have any questions, Manga's still there at the back. I know most of you know her already. Please come and sign up. We just want to see you guys' faces all the time. Thank you, everybody. One more round of applause for all of these great groups that are here today. <laughs>